Why is calculus so hard and how can you make it easier? So if you are thinking about studying calculus, or maybe you're in calculus now, or maybe you've tried to study calculus and it didn't work, hopefully this video can offer some advice. So I've taught a lot of calculus classes in college and I've noticed that the big differentiator between students who succeed and students who don't succeed is, well, it's two things, it's two things. So one, I've noticed that in calculus, compared to other classes, students really need to be careful with how they show their work and how they structure it. For example, in an algebra class, you know, you're given an equation and you solve for x, and you learn all kinds of techniques. You know, you solve linear equations, you solve rational equations, then you go to quadratic equations, equations with square roots, equations with fractional exponents, exponential equations, logarithmic equations. And so the point is you solve a lot of equations. And I think that a lot of times when students see a math problem, they don't really understand what the question is asking. And in algebra classes, it's kind of easy just to like memorize the procedure and not really know what's going on. But in calculus, you really have to understand what the question is asking and respond accordingly. For example, typically on the first test in a Calc 1 class, you study a bunch of limits. And when you're working with limits, it's very, very important to structure your work correctly and to write down things that are correct. In fact, in my classes on the first test, that's, that's the biggest reason that students lose points is that they don't actually show their work in a correct mathematical fashion. So I try to emphasize that greatly in class just to make people aware of what they need to do on the test. The second reason that calculus is pretty tough for people is the algebra. A lot of students have really weak algebra skills. And so that really hurts them, especially once you get to like where you're finding the derivative using the definition, or when you get to derivatives, you know, using the quotient rule and you have to simplify. And even worse, when you're taking the second derivative and things get a little bit messier. So weak algebra and not showing the work correctly. So both of these things can be remedied pretty easily. As far as showing the work, I think slowing down is a good way to approach that, right? Slow down, take it step by step. Even if you know the answer, even if it seems easy, focus on showing all of the steps, you know, writing down the limit sign, you know, being careful whether you're using F or F prime, just pay attention to the details because calculus is a course where details matter a lot more than in your previous classes. Again, you spend so much time just solving equations in algebra and then you jump into calculus and it's like this whole other field. So pay attention to the details, focus on the concepts, focus on showing work, and the algebra skills, I think those just follow. I don't think it's necessarily a good thing to go back and review your algebra. I think it's better to learn as you go, jump in with the sharks, swim with the sharks, jump into calculus, and embrace the difficulty. So if you're watching this video and you're taking calculus, don't worry, I, I honestly think that taking a course like trig is harder for students than taking a course like calculus because it's not that bad. You know, the concepts are really beautiful once you understand them. The algebra is tough, yes, but once you get it, you get it. And it's really not that bad. It really isn't. So those are my thoughts on, on calculus. What do you think? What do you think makes calculus so hard? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, before I forget, I'll mention this quickly. If you want to learn calculus, I have courses. They're on Udemy. Check them out. Use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com. And really quickly, I have a bunch of math books, pre-calculus for legends, super powered calculus. This one's good because it's got limits, derivatives, and integrals. By the way, all my books are super easy. So if you already know math, don't get them. These are for beginners. Calculus Alpha, this is just on limits. This will help you on that first test. Calculus Beta, this one's pretty good. This one's thicker. This one has a lot of derivatives. Then we've got two super easy college algebra books. And then my best book is not a math book. 
It's one that can change your life. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. All of these are on Amazon. Check the links in the description if you want to pick up my books. They're pretty cheap. But the point is not my books or my courses. The point is that calculus is hard. I've seen people you know, take calculus and fail, take it again and fail, and take it a third time and pass. So you can do it, right? You can do it. I think that anyone with the effort and the willpower can make it through calculus. I've seen people, I've seen them do it. Good luck.